All right, welcome to day five, golden key number five. This one is going to seem so simple, and it is so simple. And yet this one alone, this key alone, makes all the difference in what you experience, whether you're in the accountable program or whether you do this on your own. And that is consider the cost before you jump. We see this all the time in life. It's not like, you know, you've seen this all the time. You've seen people that decided on something, decided to go to school, decided to launch a company, decided to get married, decided to fill in the blank, be a, par be a parent, and then, and then you got to see where their, or maybe it was for yourself, you saw where their character was at. Because what happens is when we jump in the furnaces of life, we're drawn to the light. We're drawn to the warmth. Oh, I want that. I want that reward. And then the, fear, the furnace has to purify us. And the furnace exposes everything we are and everything we're not. I went through this last year. So today I want to talk to you about counting the cost. So not everybody is supposed to launch their own niche-based Facebook group, I would say. As in, and it becomes super successful. Sometimes people are supposed to launch it so they can just be shown and it grows to five people or 500 people and that's it. So they can be shown where they are, where they're at in life, what needs to go to go to the next level. Not everybody's going to be successful. Not everybody should be successful because we need all different types of flowers in the world, different heights, different colors. And I'm not even saying it as in to say people that don't succeed are wrong. They're not wrong. I think they're fulfilling their life mission perfect their life reason and purpose perfectly but i just want to set you up with with accurate expectations that if you create it you can achieve it i don't believe it's possible a thirst for water unless water exists on the planet somewhere i don't believe it's it's possible to thirst for making an impact and and creating a movement that unless you are you are supposed to does it mean you will do it your first time out of the gate no not at all you might need to fall on your face 15 times like I did in business. Like at least 12 times I fell on my face. One time, losing a couple million dollars. You might need to do that too. You might need to try this and fail horribly. Fail. So you can get the lessons so that the next time you're more prepared. I remember different startup companies I had feeling so frustrated going, why is John Smith or Joe and so-and-so successful seemingly out of the gate but i don't know the prices they paid prior for the success and so as you consider either catapult or doing this on your own count the cost because and not that we have a crystal ball maybe some of you do i don't know but just be aware that whatever is inside of you is going to come up it's going to be revealed and not because no, I'm not going to say that. And the reason it's going to be revealed is because this is a litmus test. If you jump in and decide to commit to, oh, it's only 100 interviews and 100 days. Yeah, but it's all the stuff that goes along with it. You're going to see exactly what kind of person you are, your commitment level, especially if you're going on your own. I did this on my own, and I did 11 days, 11 hours, 11 months. Sorry, 11 days, 11 months in a row, 11 hours a day, no breaks. Didn't see my kiddo. Went on the road for like... Four, whatever 173 days is it's like five and a half months didn't see loved ones didn't see my kiddo because what's more important is fulfilling my calling so what are you prepared to let go of before you jump what if it like what order are you going to rank things and and you can only give your answer today right now but if you choose to do this on your own or with me as your coach so catapult you are going to see exactly what you made of it. So is everyone else. Not everyone comes out of the gate like Lori Phillips. Lori is already working a full-time job, doing Catapult on the side. But Lori was prepared for this. Some people jump into Catapult and they kind of crumble. And not that they're wrong and Lori's right, but maybe it's not the right time for them to rise. Is this the right time for you to rise? I don't know. I don't know that you're going to know until you jump in. But count the cost before because this will show you any laziness you got, any excuses, any blaming, any tendency to avoid, any tendency to cut corners and not follow instructions. You're going to see all of it. Now, I've learned as a coach to take it personally accountable. 
my mistake in this. One of my growth edges was I was taking shit personally because people weren't always doing what I'm saying or they were quitting on me early. And I'm like, they're quitting on themselves early. I realized that's part of, that's the beautiful part of where they're at in life. And that's the perfect thing for them. I was the dummy that was making it about me. And now I realize it's not me. Just like last year with Ian TV, I went through extreme challenges selling my first program called the Academy and then fulfilling on it. It's only been, now the systems are finally up for my first program. And I really struggled for a year because that was my growth edge. And so whatever your growth edge is, the furthest you've been able to push out to, Catapult will will just be a litmus test for you. It'll be a furnace. And whatever's left in you that needs to be burned off, you're going to let it get burned off or you're going to fight it, make excuses, and and fail. Now, in the end, is the failure a failure? No, because if you learn from it, you can leverage that. So it isn't a failure. It's just a lesson. But just be just be prepared that whether you do it on your own or with Catapult, first count the cost. What are you prepared to do? How desperate are you? Some people don't like that word. I don't care. I love the word desperation because people will do a hell of a lot in desperation. We've all heard the stories. How desperate are you to make your calling manifest? Do you, are you prepared to eat, sleep, and breathe it? Are you prepared to die for it? Are you prepared to say goodbye to your kids for a bit for it or your spouse a bit for it? Are you prepared to whatever, have some sleepless nights, have some headaches or migraines? How prepared are you for your calling? You say you're here on this planet for x y and z this will show if you are or not and not that this is a defining thing but it's going to show you where you're at it's it's me taking all my clothes off in the mirror and jumping up and down i get to see exactly where my body's at there's no lying there's no makeup there's no faking it there's no flexing everything that jiggles jiggles what is going to jiggle in you because that's what catapult is it's a mirror do you And you're going to see everything that jiggles in you. Do you like it that it's jiggling? No shame, no judgment. You get to decide if you want to change it. And that's one of the, the best parts of this process for me the last 19 months is, is getting a chance to see where I'm really at, not where I want to be. Yeah, I'd like to be here, here, here. But like, here's the reality, Bracewell. This is where your character's at. This is where your discipline's at. This is where your commitment level's at. This is where you're tempted to run away from responsibility and and whine like a little baby instead of what can I do to solve this? You're going to see all of that yourself. So maybe you're completely prepared like Lori Phillips is for this. Great. It'll blow it up a catapult or go on your own. It'll be obviously more hours, but you can do it too. I did it 11 hours a day, 11 months in a row, no breaks. You can do this too. Anyone can do this. But how prepared are you? So count the cost. I would, you know, that savior part of me wants to protect you from making a decision that may not be the best decision for you. But then others would say, maybe it's a perfect decision for you if you fail. If you fail. Do we ever fail? We just learn, right? As long as I leverage the lessons I've learned, I've grown. So that's the part I just want to, it's a sobering reminder, you know, how disciplined are you? When you say you're not going to eat the food, do you go and cave and eat the food? When you say you're going to go to the gym, do you do you go to the gym? Not that those are a direct indication, but all of that stuff will stack up in your favor if you're already keeping your word to yourself. How often do you fail at keeping your word? No shame, no judgment, no shame. How? But honestly, how often do you keep your word to yourself? This 19 months for me has been a chance to really develop and go, am I a liar or am I going to keep my word to myself? And I've sometimes failed. And that's okay. It's a chance for me to grow. So today, the lesson is count the cost. Before you jump, count the cost. This is also why the 10 this is the 10 golden keys to rapid Facebook growth catapult secrets. This is key number six. Count the cost. You're not going to know what's going to happen until you jump. That's for sure. That Steve Harvey thing I love. I'm going to link that in the in the right up here, but count the cost. You really feel you're here to make this mission or is this something you want to do because you see 16 other people doing it? Do you feel compelled and called? Like you cannot shake it. Like you sleep, you wake up, you think about it. It haunts you. It gnaws at you. It's annoying because you can't get rid of it. Are you supposed to create a movement? Are you supposed to host people? Can you delay gratification and make it about them and 
close your mouth and do 20% of the talking for 100 events in 100 days. Can you really do that? Are you that disciplined to do that? Or are you going to make it about yourself? No shame, no judgment. Count the cost. So hold up the mirror of reality. Are you actually prepared for this? Because it will expose you. And once it exposes you, you get chances to learn and all that stuff. But I just want to make sure that you are prepared. I don't want everyone buying the chemical program off me if they're not prepared. That doesn't help me. Now, maybe it does help them. And maybe it would stretch me and grow me to have four people come in and utterly fail in the first two months. And then we're going to figure out solutions to get them successful. Maybe that'd be the perfect thing for me. So maybe yeah, that is perfect for me. Maybe it is perfect for you. But I at least want to go as your friend, count the cost. You say you want to have a baby, better go and count the cost. What's it like having a kid? What are my expenditures having a kid? What's my sleep going to be like if I have a kid? What are my responsibilities? How does my life change if I have a kid? Not just look at the cute baby over there that's being pushed around her stroller and go, I want one of those. Yeah, anybody wants one of those on its good days. What about when the kid wakes you up at 3 a.m. and then 5 a.m. and then 7 a.m. or whatever? What about when the kid's barfing at night? Because you're on niche based Facebook group, it is all on you. Everything until you get support staff, it is all on you. Count the cost, my friend. When I jumped, I was all in because I was in a place of, I can't shake it anymore. I'd spent years knowing and trying to manifest something, like actually a couple of decades. So I knew I was like, if this is my last year on earth, this was last year, 2023, how is 2023 going down? And I'm like, I will die trying to get this off the ground. Um, but this is happening. I have no idea what's going to happen, but I'm all in. And I, I, I shot the bed enough in enough situations that I, I was like, okay, I'm aware of where I want to run away and play victim. And it was still hard. And it's been extremely rewarding in multiple ways. The best thing in my life ever done by far, by far. But it's required me to show up when days I didn't feel like showing up. So count the cost, my friend. It will serve you well to count the cost.